Welcome to Logo, a show where we talk not only about brands but also what goes into making one. I'm Bhairavi Ayer. It's raining festivals and that's typically a time when consumer durables companies across the country offer discounts and freebies. But this year the mood is less than jubilant on the back of a slowdown. What are companies doing this year? We find out in our cover story. season is around the corner and one would think so are the freebies and discounts. Consumer durables companies like Samsung, LG and Sony are gearing up for a big festive season with most expecting to clock a sales growth of 35 to 40 percent. But in a year where everyone's talking about a slowdown and lackluster sales, is this a possibility? See we are a bunch of optimists here at Samsung so we believe that the festival season would uh, would be a rebound for uh, for many of the product categories that we are we are working with so we are quite confident that because of the festival mood consumers would come out shopping and therefore we are really trying to see how we can uh, get consumers to choose the samsung brand this festival i don't feel any slowdown of economics and uh, yeah we are very optimistic even this coming you know festival season Experts aren't buying that. Typically, Indians postpone high ticket purchases like durables for the festive season. But this year has been one of rising food inflation, which means that many consumers are likely to cut back on their so called discretionary spending. So it's a double whammy in a sense. I mean, durables has not had the best of summers this year. And uh, coupled with that, if we see a meltdown around the festival season, then definitely there is some cause for concern. We are not seeing a similar level of an uptick in July, December 2010 versus July, December 2011. Mm. Uh, we are already in the month of September now, August is gone. Uh, you have only one, one tent pole or one pillar that is the festival season in the month of October and November. So it, it won't be as good as 20% goes in the second half, but it is, that's the only season we have right now. In a surprising move, however, many companies are approaching their festive season differently. While some are yet to even kick off their festive season promotions, others like Samsung are giving their marketing strategies a regional flavor. See, our, uh, the, the first uh, festival actually is Onam, which is, uh, which is in Kerala, which has already started. So we have rolled out some specific offers for Onam already. But uh, real, real festival season starts with uh, puja celebrations in Kolkata. So that plan we will roll out around the first week of September. But easing up on the marketing front has more to do with the fact that many of the consumer durable companies spent much of their marketing ammunition on the World Cup and IPL that happened earlier this year. Consider this, top consumer durables companies including LG, Samsung, Videocon and Sony were both directly and indirectly a part of both sporting extravaganzas. For instance, LG Electronics spent rupees 70 crore to promote its wares on cricket, while rival Sony Electronics backed the on-air broadcast sponsor rights for the World Cup, spending rupees 100 crore. Needless to say, these are a significant part of any marketing budget. So it's a question of how uh, each one of them manages the tactical uh, uh, part of the festival season by introducing promotions which might uh, increase both uh, uh, trade visibility and availability and at the same time also uh, potentially uh, give some encouragement to consumers who are already being pressurized by food inflation and the meltdown and so on. No wonder then companies are being forced to use innovative approaches to make a sales pitch. Both Samsung and Sony are capitalizing on the launch of new products to woo customers this season. While Sony has launched a new LED television, Samsung has come out with a new washing machine, which is not surprising considering the highest festive season sales comes from these two categories. 
Needless to say, consumer durable companies are hoping lackluster sales will see an uptick between September and November. But will consumers flock to stores? Given the macroeconomic trends, we wouldn't put our money on it. A cautious approach by consumer durables companies there. Moving on in our news of the week section, here's a wrap on all the latest brand launches and updates from the world of advertising and marketing. Move over Angry Birds, there's a new gaming hero in town. Harping on the nationwide Anna Hazari phenomenon, Geek Mentor Studio has launched Angry Anna. The birds of Angry Birds have been swiftly replaced with Anna, Ramdev and the like, while the pigs have been traded for politicians. An indication of just how popular the game is, is that Angry Anna is the fifth most trending topic on Twitter in India. Clearly, the anti-corruption rally has percolated down to anything and everything. What the Goa Fest is to ad agencies, the MVs are to media agencies. And this year's agency award went to Mindshare with a whopping 160 points. Miles ahead of runner-up Lodestar UM which finished with 110 points. A third place was Maxis with 70 points, followed by Madison Media and Mudra Max. Much of Mindshare's success at the awards can be attributed to its top three campaigns. Your trusted beauty companion for Be Beautiful, the Nike Bleed Blue campaign, as well as the Change the Game campaign for Pepsi. It's, uh, it's a matter of pride. For us, I think we value MVs a lot. And uh, so we prepare for it and it's part of our action plan in a year. Auto sales might be at a two-year low, but auto companies are at their busiest best, it seems. Close on the heels of Maruti's new Swift, Volkswagen's Jetta and Ford's Fiesta, Skoda India is all set to relaunch its Skoda Laura RS. While the launch date for the Skoda has been pushed back, it's likely that the new version will have a sporty exterior with a strong emphasis on speed. Question is, are there any takers? Time now to head into a short break, but stay tuned. On the other side, we tell you how beverage maker Saab Miller is taking surrogate advertising to another level altogether. Stay tuned. Warm welcome back, you're still watching Logo. Considering that alcoholic beverage makers have so many restrictions on them, it leaves them with little choice but to think out of the box. In our Brand Bazaar segment this week, we tell you some of the interesting things that beverage maker Saab Miller has been doing. probability that you would have come across this ad on Facebook. One look at it and one would think that it's probably a recruitment ad. A closer look at the ad and it turns out that it's much more than just a classified ad for a job. With this viral contest, alcohol maker Saab Miller is actually targeting the urban netizens for its premier Miller High Life brand of beer. To succeed in the contest, an entrant has to showcase his or her popularity on social media. The contestants are entrusted with the task of evangelizing the brand by promoting it on digital media and apparently they are being promised 1 lakh rupees per month for doing the same. With over 80,000 fans on Facebook already and still growing, it's evident that the viral marketing campaign is already resonating well with the key target group. And this, according to Derek Jones, Director Marketing at Saab Miller, truly defines the success of an online campaign. Social media might be restricted to over a million users. Just by definition, they tend to be the, the bigger influencers in society. So while they might be small in number, they're very large in influence. And that's particularly so in the more premium categories. And so I think the, the, the role of social media will have a disproportionate role in, in brands going forward. The Coolest Job campaign is on to the 15th of September and aims to recruit a brand ambassador for the company. Besides Facebook, the brand is also focusing on display advertising on recruitment portals such as Nokri. 
for viral campaigns like these, while Facebook ads help in ensuring massive likes for the brand page, the consumer engagement remains a moot point. For its part, Bangalore-based specialized agency Geek, brought on board for this campaign, had their timelines and plans clearly cut out. The key was to ensure that the initial enthusiasm didn't die down, says Akshay from Geek. Innovation, I could talk about uh, also as uh, uh, a possible buzzword in the future is gamification. So we looked at gamifying the entire process of uh, recruitment, wherein uh, you would create your application, uh, you know, a basic application, you could work on it for a couple of days and you could invite friends, you could promote yourself among your social networks, you could uh, uh, unlock missions uh, and invite uh, friends, etc. Yeah, so a whole uh, deal of work for close to a month, month and a half for anyone who's applying and uh, that is the level of engagement that we were looking at. In a country like India, where alcohol brands are not allowed to promote their wares directly, surrogate advertising is often the route taken up by such companies. Divided by teams, united by the king of good times. Foster's yet another beer brand from the company's table is trying to reach out to its consumers with an innovative FRO initiative. As part of this initiative, Foster's has tied up with all Inox theatres in Bangalore, wherein the F row across all theatres is branded Foster's. Not a bad idea to reach out and engage with customers, we must admit. When you're not allowed to advertise, what else can you do? Well, invent, says Saab Miller. Sab Miller doing its bit there to join consumers. Moving on in our ad wrap section, here are all the latest campaigns that broke earlier this week. Have a look. It has been around for a year, but in case you missed it, and chances are you might have, niche TV channel Fox Crime has come out with a new campaign. The attempt is to stand out with three jumble films of suspense and mystery, each telling a different story to the viewer, almost misleading him or her to believe that there are multiple victims, multiple murderers and multiple motives. Crafted and executed by ONM, the campaign is clearly trying to find the detective in you. What's great about this campaign is how it has seamlessly used different media to build the suspense. Well done. We'll have to see if this helps Fox Crime make a mark. On Monday morning, when readers of the largest daily opened the newspaper, they were in for a surprise. The front page of the newspaper was glitzy and there was almost a half page dedicated to Volkswagen Jetta right at the top. While it did come as a surprise to many, and soon enough, Twitter and Facebook were full of comments. While some found it intrusive in their morning reading experience, others were in awe seeing something so different. This print ad from the German car maker is almost setting the tone for the lavish four-crore ad film that's likely to hit the tube this week. At a time when the festive season is just around the corner, brands are looking for newer ways to lure consumers and looks like the brand managers at Volkswagen are clearly working overtime just to do that. Volkswagen going all out there. Time now to head into a short break, but do come back on the other side. We tell you how you can be a rising star on Logo. Warm welcome back, you're still watching Logo. With changing times, the definition of advertising too is getting new meaning. Where TV was earlier considered a strong medium for product publicity, today digital and social media are gaining ground. Tanya Basu gets us more on this neutral medium. Do you remember liking Coke's Facebook page? Or downloading the latest Bacardi Breeza number from YouTube? about Airtel's new advertisement? Well, this is the new world of social media, where all lines and demarcations of ads and publicity get blurred. This is the age of neutral media, where the product, audience and the medium become one. We are moving from the mass media to very, very focused media and very direct. 
you know, where the customer engagement has become more important than using just the traditional, I would say, passive media, a television or newspapers or outdoor, etc. On top of that, you know, internet is going to play a very, very major role in, in times to come in how you build your customer relations. And clients and brands would be more important in how we could engage with that. Indeed, the internet does seem to make its mark felt over every brand, every product in the most unique way possible. But here's the catch. Contrary to buying exposure, here you will have to earn exposure. The idea is to grab instant attention in the most seamless manner. Here are some of the most common examples. The website refresheverything.com is set to get the highest number of online traffic for beverage joint Pepsi, even more than its own website. In the US, Johnson & Johnson are set to be making a lot of good money through babycenter.com, a popular website among the moms to be in the US. Microsoft also went online recently enough with its website officelife.com. Closer home entertainment channel Colors has come up with a YouTube version of its serials where you can catch a missed episode in the same quality. Even Domino's Pizza has introduced an online pizza tracker where you can track the progress of your pizza from the time it's taken from the outlet to your home. In media, television is still an important medium. It will continue to be an important medium and so will be radio, so will be print. But everything is, is getting distressed. Television can be seen in digital or on your uh, television screen. Similarly, radio is now digital. Print is digital. So they must, be have, must have a strong digital plan for everything. If you ignore that and if you, can't, you don't know how to monetize that, then again you'll be in trouble. A recent study by Nielsen along with Absolute Data concludes that social media was growing at almost 100% every year in India. It is expected to exceed 45 million users from 30 million currently by 2012. Almost 60% of active users of social media in India are quite open to being approached or accessed by brands. With roughly 800 million mobile connections, the country can witness an exponential growth in the wireless realm as well. Social media is, is um, getting a lot of talk and a lot of discussion everywhere in the world. I, I think that it's more useful from an, from an ad agency context and marketing context to, to think about social media as earned media. Um, that yes, it's social, it's social networks, it's, it's media that's shared, but it's essentially media that, it, and, and um, coverage and reputation that you have to earn, that you can't buy. And that's a very different skill set for the traditional ad agency who's used to being able to buy exposure. Here you have to earn exposure and uh, it's not necessarily a public relations function. Unlike paid media which one can carefully craft and control, it is neutral media which is to do with the business of participation. Does this spell trouble for traditional media? Though print and television continue to be the core for advertisers within India, it is social media that has a unique advantage above all the others because of its person-to-person -person communication. Are you an aspiring ad film director, designer or copywriter looking for that elusive break? Well, look no further, Rising Star on Logo could get you that opportunity. How you ask? Take a look. They say men are from Mars and women are from Venus. But what do you do if you want both of them to come to your store for shopping? Well, that's the task that Brand And has set for you. Brand And over the years has catered only to women folk. But interestingly, the brand has now chosen to launch product lines for men as well. The brand has launched a new logo and is now seeking fresh ideas from you for their overall brand strategy. I think what I just like from, from all your um, intelligent uh, viewers is uh, uh, we are very clear on what we want to design for men. We are very, very clear um, on the look and the feel of the brand. Um, uh, maybe just um, I, I would I would just love to know is uh, is 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 how do I market this you know the uh, the, the fact that we are now designing for men uh, because traditionally even as a brand in women's wear we didn't really have a marketing you know so-called big uh, marketing budget where we had an ad campaign it was a lot of word of you know word of mouth uh, today with the social networking media and and there are so many newer possibilities. 
of uh, of letting people be aware of what you are doing. Um, uh, I, I would love some inputs um, on, on, on a marketing and a branding strategy, let's say, for this brand extension. So if you're an aspiring ad film director or a copywriter or a designer or even an art director looking for that elusive break, this is your opportunity to showcase your talent and this time on a live case. You can participate in this journey by either sharing a brand communication note with a clear repositioning strategy for brand and and a one-line caption. If you're an artist or an art director, you could share the artwork with a new communication that could be a part of the outdoor or in-store campaigns. Not just that, the brand plans to create several short viral films to reposition itself. So if you're an aspiring ad filmmaker and have a good idea, share the storyboard with us. The artwork or the strategy note or the design note should be shared with us in a JPEG or a PDF format. You could either email this to us at logo at yourmoneysite.com or upload the same on our Facebook page, Bloomberg UTV Logo. You know, this is a tricky project because AND is such a sort of women-centric brand. And, and how do you sort of take it out of that and create a brand called AND Men? And so people have to think a little bit about that. And my instinct would be, it just even how you lay the logo out, right? Maybe the and is smaller than the men or whatever. But you got to be careful how you approach it because it, it's got to ring true with what and stand for, which, right? And yet still appeal to men, the whole new audience altogether. The submitted entries will be judged by an eminent panel comprising of Chairperson VGC, Preeti Vyas, Chief Creative Officer Mudra Group, Bobby Pawar, and the founder partner of Nomad Films, Amitabh Bhattacharya. And this is the criteria that they will use to evaluate your submission. I would look at uh, the idea. I would look at the directors. If it is a, if it is a live action, people driven story, then acting, directing capabilities, directing people. And the third would be the finish. Idea can be path breaking, not only perhaps in the, in, uh, in the fact that it's using some great strategy, but also in, it could be, for example, innovation of media, innovation of uh, new technology, uh, and how uh, an idea can be viral. And now comes the best part. Our panelists have assured us that if they come across any promising talent, they wouldn't hesitate to hire them in their respective organizations, subject of course to regular policies and procedures. And not just that, every week starting next week, the best entry picked up by our judges will be showcased in our Pick of the Week section on Logo. So what are you waiting for? Do rush in your entries. The last date of submission is the 12th of September. Do hurry up and send in your work. Our judges can't wait for the creative overdose. On that note, it's time to say goodbye. But please send in your feedback. Our Twitter and Facebook IDs are flashing on your screen. You can also mail us at logo at yourmoneysite.com. Until next week, goodbye.